A special dance was prepared and performed in honor of President Uhuru 10 years in leadership. It caught Uhuru by surprise, wondering whether to dance the casual way or the presidential way. Uhuru, who was accompanied by his junior staff, could not hide the inner feelings of happiness, but from the look of things, he looked emotional, noting that this might be his last party at State House. The song, composed by State House Choir, has been sung before, performed in many state occasions, but it has never touched Uhuru's heart like this. But our focus was mainly on his wife Margaret Kenyatta, his security, Kanze Dena, and Joseph Kenywa. Kenywa and Kanze appeared to enjoy Uhulu's song more than the intended persons. If you watch this video to the last minute, you will see the wave that almost carried away everybody, with Kenywa leading the famous dance train going round. On the other corner, Uhulu's camp D8 can be seen confused at some point wondering whether to start behind his boss as he is used to, but he is left to chat with fellow security detail, leaving Uhuru to enjoy the moment of the day as he prepared to go back home after leaving his office to Raira Odinga. Not sure it will happen though. On her part, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta smile seemed not enough to make Uhuru forget he is still the president. Old age and political stress from Ruto and Ariko resisting his move seemed to control him, leaving him alone in the tent, only crapping his hearts and lifting one leg at a time as if he might fall, you might not understand how state house water tastes and the effect it can have on our president. Allow me to let you feel the praise song. <laughs> Yeah.